white line, King City. A city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering. Evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. Hey, look at this! They printed my newest story on the cover of the King City Herald. Philistine, friend or foe? Philistine surprised everyone this week when he was seen chatting on friendly terms with the Redeemed team. The question on everyone's mind is, has the Philistine turned over a new leaf? That is the question on my mind as well. Hey, Scripture Has guy? the Philistine truly changed? Well, oh, I think you'd be surprised, Scripture guy. Yeah? The Philistine just sent you a thank you text. The Philistine? Yeah. Oh. All right, read it to me. I'll be right down. It says, Dear Redeem Team, thanks for helping me change my ways. The Philistine. Huh. Oh, but then there's a whole lot of hate mail. Oh, yes, let me see. Ah, uh, the usual. The Obliterator, the Iron Cobra, yeah. the Steel Magnolia. Yeah. Revenge, revenge, revenge. I hate you, I hate you, blah, blah, blah. Oh, huh. oh you just got another text. Oh, oh. It's from my Aunt Tilly back home. Oh. I I'm her favorite nephew. <laughs> it says, dear favorite nephew, don't forget to look for your uncle. Remember, you promised. Love, Aunt Tilly. Well, who is your uncle? Uh, where is your uncle? Well, I wish I knew. He left our little town of Godly Acres five years ago for King City to try and sell his invention. 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 But we never saw him again. 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 When I moved to King City, I made a promise that I would look for him. You made a covenant! I did? Well, oh, you mean like how David and Jonathan promised to take care of each other's families forever? Yes, but then King Saul and Jonathan both died in battle. And so, King David became the king. Whoa, uh, that, that kind of left David off the hook, didn't he? Nobody was around to, to see if he would keep his promise. Oh, no, no. David's covenant was a forever promise. Oh, yeah. And he was about to find a way to make it come true huh. through a man named Mephibosheth. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> that was no sneeze. Oh. Mephibosheth was a real person. Oh. Here, let me get out the good news and I'll show you. Mephibosheth. Oh, hold that thought. Yep. I'll be right back, Casey Carter. All right. He's so cool. Scripture guy here. Oh, hello, Scoop Gibson. Oh, yes. That's right. I almost forgot. I'll be right over. Oh. What's going Forgive on? Forgive me, Casey Carter. I promised my good friend Scoop Gibson that I would help him move his office furniture. Oh, yeah. And a superhero always keeps his promise. <laughs> After all, say it with me, kids. We give everything to honor our king. <laughs> I forgot. The office is this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See you, scripture guy. Oh, no, he forgot to show me where the good news is. Hey, hey, scripture guy. Oh, well, he's gone now. I don't know where the good news is. Where do you guys think it is? What? Oh, it's, oh, it's in the phone booth. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll look in the phone. You guys lied. It's not in the phone booth. Where is it? Oh, up in the fire escape. Okay, I'll, I'll climb up there in the fire escape. Wait, no, not, not, not at the fire escape? It is kind of a climb. Oh, I see the office. It's in the... It's not in the office. Where is it? Oh, the good news box. Well, I guess that makes sense, but I guess I'll give it a shot. <laughs> oh, I can never get these things open. Yet. Yeah. Whew. Whew. I got it. Thanks, guys. I love when it does that. All right. Ah, here it is. According to this, David went to Saul's servant, Ziba, and asked if there was anybody left in Saul's family that he could show God's kindness to for Jonathan's sake. Wow. Remember how David made that covenant to Jonathan to take care of his family? He went out of his way to keep that promise. What a good friend. <laughs> well, Ziba said to Jonathan that he had a son. No, Ziba said that Jonathan had a son named Mephibosheth who was crippled in both feet. Oh, that means he couldn't walk. So David had Mephibosheth brought to him. Mephibosheth must have been really worried, huh? But David said, don't be afraid, for I will surely show you the kindness for your sake of your father Jonathan. I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather Saul. 
and you will always eat at my table. Wow, what a great heart King David had. No wonder God loved him so much. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Arms, arms for the poor. Who's that? Ooh, arms for the poor. Won't somebody please give some change to a poor, broken oh. down man? Oh, hey there, Ooh. poor guy. I, I think I can help you. I must have some, some spare change somewhere. Oh, thank you. You are so generous, I don't kind have any sir. Now give me all your money. Oh, the Philistine, you tricked me. I know. It's so easy. Now show me the money. Show me the money! Oh, but Philistine, I thought you were trying to change your evil ways. I was trying to change. I mean, I tried, but, well, it's not easy making a living as a nice superhero. Oh, well, well then are you still working with the obliterator to take over King City? No. He threw me out of our secret evil hideaway. He said I was no longer evil enough to hang out with him. And now I have to walk to the streets, begging for change from strangers. This is no way for an evil villain to live. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be nice to me. I'm evil, remember? <gasps> yeah, well, well, maybe you're just misunderstood. Well, maybe you're a knucklehead. Wait a minute. Only one other person in my life ever called me a knucklehead. Uncle Phil, is that you? Uncle Phil? Oh. I haven't heard that name in five years. You must be my nephew, little Casey Carter. Uncle Phil, oh, I've been looking for you. Come here, give me a hug. Not used to shows of emotion. No, oh, well, oh, Uncle Phil, ick, ick. what happened to you? You you left our little town of, of Godly Acres five years ago, and we never saw you again. Oh. Are you trying to sell your invention? Yes. My one great invention. The plutonium heart. Oh, yeah. A replacement heart that could run for a hundred years on a single plutonium chip. Oh. I showed it to the King City Science Club, and they laughed at me and then stole my invention. So I vowed that I would get revenge on all of King City. But right now, I just want to get something to eat. So give me some money. Oh, Uncle Phil, you don't, you don't need that gun. No, you're right. Besides, the batteries are dead, and I can't afford new ones. Oh, well... Well, hey, if you're hungry, there's some goldfish in my lunchbox. What? Goldfish? Oh, thank you. Oh, my, thank you, thank you. Oh, you are so kind. Why are you so kind to me? Well, you remind me of Mephibosheth. You watch your mouth, youngster. Oh, no, 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 Mephibosheth was, was Jonathan's son. Oh. And, and David had invited Mephibosheth to eat at his table. <laughs> the point is, God helped David keep his promise to Mephibosheth. And I think God is helping me keep my promise to Aunt Tilly. Aunt Tilly? Oh, that name, it sounds so familiar. Well, it should. She's my aunt and your wife. Come on, let's, let's go get some lunch and we'll get caught up. Oh, can I get a smoothie at nature's table? I don't see why not. Oh, you're so kind and giving. <laughs> what can I say? I give everything to honor my king. Oh, I like that. <laughs>